All right. Um, first of all, we're gonna ping our ping and see how it goes. I'm gonna ping Google and see how. So my ping is pretty bad. Uh, 23 ms. Um, we're gonna use a free Google um DNS server and then ping afterward. See if things get faster. I'm also gonna ping Facebook.com. That's terrible. See my average ping is 51 ms. Um, okay. Um, we're gonna go to the network settings. Right click, properties. Uh, turn off IP6. It's a security issue. It's gonna be eight. Well, it says eight 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 four four four. These are DNS servers, so they're name servers. So basically, what a name server does is convert your um like yahoo.com into like a uh, IP address as you can see here look the actual Facebook address is 69171.230.5 that's actual Facebook um, I'll just type in Google's IP address 216.558.216.14 see it's basically the same thing Except and they mask it with HTTPS SSL. We're gonna ping it again. Ping Google.com. Let's see. Uh, still the same ping. Twenty-five. This one's twenty-three. Seven. Seven. Let's do it again. Facebook.com. Forty-five for Facebook, which is fifty-one. There's an improvement for Facebook because Facebook before was right here, fifty-one, and it became forty-five. Um, that's like a huge improvement with the this DNS, and there's also Open DNS. We're gonna try that out. And then their IP is just look wherever. I'm using Windows 8, it doesn't matter. Let's try to do it. So the IP is so let's do this again. You go here, you go to network settings. This will show up. Or you go to control panel. Another way to do it is control panel, type in network. Sorry, network. Click that. Change adapters. This is it. Um, if you're on Wi-Fi, use your Wi-Fi. But since I'm on um, Ethernet, yeah, whatever you're connecting to. If not, leave this to someone who knows what they're doing, like me. All right, we're gonna switch it. Not use that one, and we're gonna do a test again. Two eight six seven. So why am I not using my default? ISP DNS server, um, cause sometimes it doesn't work. It's really slow. Like Ajax when you broke, I don't know why. Like sometimes the sites don't like resolve a name and then it just hangs there. So let's ping this. Let's go down to CLS. We're gonna ping Facebook.com again. It's actually faster. We're gonna ping Google.com. Uh, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let's try surfing the net.
says it's faster, but it doesn't feel faster. It feels a bit laggy. Okay, let's switch this back to the globiness. It's uh, eight, eight. Yeah, there's no fast way of doing this. Eight, 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 four, four. Let's go slowest. Then we got the way down again. We're gonna ping this one down again. Forty two and then I wish sure that one was forty one. So this one's slower. Open DNS is faster. Then well, you might as well use open DNS. I'm gonna sign up. In case it's like it's really slow for some reason, um, then I would just use my default. I just use default for now. Just clear it out and show you how slow it is. We're gonna paint this back home again. We use default. Our default's fast. Thirty seven, no forty MS. Okay. Well, you don't really have to do it, but uh, you can do this for Mac too, it doesn't matter. If I'm Mac, I recommend turning off iCloud. Because I think it eats a lot of bandwidth. <coughs> I'll paint Google again. Oh wow. 26. Wow, it's a huge improvement. Or paying Facebook. 43. Uh, 41, 43. So yeah, um, I'm done with this tutorial, and I hope you learned something about changing your DNS and what's it for. It's basically a name server, so you translate like this stuff into IPs. It's a server that serves names. That's about it. Destination server. Destination DNS is destination name server. Yeah, and. Um, I hope you learned something about command. Echo hello. Ooh, echo hello. So this is the command prompt CLI. Um, Windows is based on um, still Unix, but Mac is still Unix. So that's the people like developing on Mac, because like the shell, this black and white thing, is very similar to. Linux and and all the Linux servers right now are like shell. There's no interface. It's just black and white, and that's how servers are run. Like computers don't know anything. Computers all they see is code and command lines. In IT world, well, the admin is just command lines. But for the Windows, we have GUI. But for Linux. It's all invisible for us as if you're a server admin, then it's all command line. If you're not, if you're like tech support, like lower tier, then you have this thing, you just remote in to fix things. And for network admin, you ping things. Like, oh, you're pinging this IP. Oh, is it working? And you go, what's going on? Is the firewall blocking it? Is the router blocking it? Um, is it routed correctly? 
because you'll like give it like 192.168.10. I don't know what. Hundred or whatever your octet is for every device, or it could be like ten dot ten dot ten dot ten dot one dot one, and then that would be that one device, the printer or something, or that computer or whatever. Um, I'm not that familiar with it, but I guess summary of it and how that works. So that's what networking game people do, and they basically just link it all up through like routers, uh, Ethernet, you know, devices, which are the media computers. Alright, I'm done with this. I think I explained enough about DNS. If you learned something, like it. If you didn't learn anything, thanks for watching. And, um, yeah, I try to create more in-depth tutorials. You know, I'm trying to push the envelope. Alright, I'm done.